Alabama has an abundance of must-see attractions, including beautiful gardens, unique museums, and famous attractions in cities like Birmingham, Montgomery, Huntsville, Gadsden, Florence, and Mobile, and many more. But this list will cover unique things to do in Alabama. Welcome to Things to Do channel, your online travel guide. We are happy to help in your travels around the globe. Here are 10 unique things to do in Alabama. Bask in the shade of the tree that owns itself in Eufaula. There is a tree in Alabama that literally owns itself. The story behind that is, for more than 200 years, some say, the tree had stood in the yard that was owned by Confederate Captain John A. Walker in 1919. That year, the sturdy oak withstood a tornado. It had also survived fire, so in 1936, local women persuaded the town council to deed the property to the tree whose roots grew into it. Take a selfie with Rusty the Big Red Dog in Northport A metal sculpture of a big red dog on a rooftop is the first thing visitors see when they enter downtown Northport. He marks the site of the renowned Kentucky Arts Center where you can watch artists at work and see their creations in an outdoor gallery. Take a ride on the G's Bend Ferry G's Bend, a community along Alabama River, renowned for its beautiful folk art quilts, is reached most easily by ferry. Ferry crossing stopped in 1962, reportedly to make it more difficult for black residents of G's Bend to vote, but it resumed in 2006. Hike in Bamboo Forest in a section of a 26-acre area in Prattville, called Wilderness Park, bamboo grows as much as 60 feet high and 6 inches in circumference. It was the first designated wilderness park in the country. In the 1940s, someone sent a packet of seeds to the owner of the property who planted them. Before long, the exotic plants covered a wide area of the property. Have an ice cream on the spot where Harper Lee lived. Mel's Dairy Cream at 216 South Alabama Avenue in Monroeville is an old-fashioned walk-up dairy bar that was built on the site of Harper Lee's childhood home. The house was demolished after the Lee family moved out in the 1950s. Mel's is a favorite spot for locals and for fans of Harper Lee who died in 2016. Walk into a shark's mouth Souvenir City has been a fixture at Gulf Shore since 1956. The massive shark at the entrance was damaged by Hurricane Ivan in 2004 but was repaired. Visitors can enter through the shark's mouth and look through windows inside its belly to see what it has eaten. Play Limbo Beneath a Goat Tree Limb Dauphin Island is home to some unusual oaks, known as goat trees, with low-hanging limbs that grow nearly parallel to the ground. The trees located near Shell Mount Park once served as shelter for wild goats that inhabited the island. The trees have limbs that reach as far as 50 feet and provide a perfect climbing surface for goats, or a good limbo dance. These days, the Goat Tree Preserve is listed as part of the National Wetlands Inventory and provides habitat for dozens of birds including warblers, vireos, and gnat catchers. It is a favorite destination of bird watchers. See if your car defies the laws of nature on Gravity Hill Road. An area in Oak Grove near Silacauga is known as a mystery spot. According to the Alabama Tourism Department, here's what to do. You will have the most fun if you position your car south on Gravity Hill so that your car goes uphill backward. Drive to the stop sign on Gravity Hill at US 280 intersection. Pull up to the stop sign. US 280 should be in front of your car and the rest of Gravity Hill in your rear view mirror. Make sure no one is behind you. Put your car in neutral and take your foot off the brake. Your car should start to roll backward and uphill. Be sure to keep your foot close to the brake pedal, as you will pick up speed as you coast uphill. This little adventure is so amazing that you'll find yourself driving back to the stop sign to try it again. Visit Fort Morgan State Historic Site Museum during wartime, underwater mines protected Mobile Bay, and for 23 years, Fort Morgan was the state's biggest permanent military base. In fact, 2,000 troops were stationed here during World War II. At the war's end, Fort Morgan's garrison was reduced, but its role as a coastal defense post was not over. In November 1941, the U.S. Navy retook the fort, and in 1942, the 50th Coast Artillery Regiment renewed the fort's coastal defense mission. In July 1944, Fort Morgan was permanently abandoned. 
the Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald Museum. The mission of the Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald Museum and its board of directors is multifold to protect and preserve the last extant home where the Fitzgeralds lived as a family, to be faithful stewards of the various artifacts in its collection, to educate visitors about the legacies and lives of Zelda and Scott Fitzgerald, to continue Scott Fitzgerald's tradition of encouraging blossoming writers by sponsoring author mentoring and writing programs, and to obtain new artifacts so that the public may see them on view.